All right, guys. So if you've seen the video where I installed the Arachio sprinkler controller, there's a tube that comes up the wall that's just a little over an inch in diameter that went into the original sprinkler controller and the Arachio's not set up for a one inch tube to go into it. So I'm just going to make a quick little clamp. And this is one of the things that I really love about have not only having a 3D printer, but learning how to 3D model because you can make custom things that you can't buy anywhere and that's specific to your needs. And some things like this, this shouldn't take very long. So let's see, you know, let's see how long it'll take to get through it. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'll just go here on this plane. So let's see here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do a center. We're going to do a center point rectangle. I'm going to come up. We're going to go. Uh, we're going to go three inches. On the money, we'll go two hundred thousandths. That looks good. Now I need to do a circle, so I'm going to hit C. We're going to, and basically what this circle is going to represent. C. There we go. Is the tube itself, which is one inch fifty thousandths and let's move him right over here let's see I guess we can put him basically right there right there on top of the uh, two hundred thousandths thick base that we're gonna attach this tube to so now we just need and I'm gonna use this to cut out the actual um, clamp itself so don't worry guys we're almost done let's make us another circle right here 1.250 all right That is probably about all we need. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select. Actually, I'm going to trim. I want to trim out some of these some of these pieces that we don't need. We don't need that. We don't need that. That right there should be all we need. And this is probably going to be. I'll just make it about an inch. Uh, wide so we're going to hit extrude E for extrude we'll do about a one inch wide clamp now the only other thing that I want to do I don't want this connected like that I want this split so let's see let's go back up here let's go ahead and just go to edit edit sketch and I'm going to go ahead and put in another rectangle. We're going to do a center. Let's do that. Let's do a center rectangle. It's going to come right here. And I'm going to put in just a little something to cut out a little piece of this. I'm going to finish. We'll go back over here to uh, extrude. Select all three of those points. This is going to be a cut. And we have now just cut out. Let's turn our sketch off so we can see our work. Now we need a couple holes. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to sketch. We're going to select this plane. And then we're going to hit C for circle. And we're just going to kind of eyeball. Uh, let's see, 200 thou. Yeah, we're going to do 200 thousandths. I think that'd be good enough. Come over here, see for circle. Turn our sketches back on. E for extrude. And 
there's our holes. So I think that's going to make a nice clamp to clamp that uh, tube in place. So now, uh, let, me, let me get a better view of this. Let's turn our sketch off. So let me hit save. Uh, tube, tube clamp. Go over here to export tube clamp version zero. And we're going to come over here to our 3D files folder. And this is just one of the nice things, like I say, about uh, being able to 3D model and having a 3D printer. I've said this in a couple past videos. I've tried to teach myself 3D modeling in the past. Got very little into it. It was way too complex. And I gave up. Mainly because I didn't realize, or, or I couldn't figure out what I would ever do to a 3D model once I actually 3D modeled it. What do you do with it? I mean, I guess there is there is some digital stuff. You can, you know, there's games and stuff like that. I guess you use 3D models in. But if I couldn't really turn it into a physical object, I didn't really have a whole lot of motivation. Well, once I got my 3D printer, um, I realized that's a good motivation to uh, to be able to 3D model. You know, you can make your own stuff and then you can print it out and actually have the physical product that you created. And there's something about being able to create you know, your own stuff that, uh, I don't know, it, it, you know, it's, it's hard to explain unless you actually, uh, you know, do it. Anyway, there's, there's our clamp. Uh, that looks good. Dynamic quality. All the settings should be right. Let's see how long it's going to take to print. A little under two hours to print that. Uh, once I get it printed, I'll come back and show you the, uh, the final product. All right, so clamp's done. Holes actually turned out fine. I was a little concerned about them since there wasn't any supports. You can kind of see, let's see which, yeah. You kind of see right there where, you know, there wasn't any support. And how it kind of got a little raggedy. But, hey, it's a clamp, right? So let's go see how it's going to fit. Get out of my way. Okay. There we go. Let's just swivel that right out of there. And there it is. A couple screws. That will hold that tube nice and secure. Just an example of why it's nice to have a 3D printer and learn how to 3D model. Once I had a reason to learn to 3D model, it actually came a lot easier than any other time in the past. Simply because I had that reason. I knew I knew that I was going to need to uh, learn it so I could 3D print my own my own items. Anyway, once I get a couple screws in there, that'll be secure. And uh, you guys take care.